so I'll come in here while the water's heating up. This is my tan. <laughs> so it definitely got me tan. I just really need to stop attempting to self tan when this is how it always turns out. I haven't washed it off since I have put the tan on. So we're gonna wash it off right now. It's been like 12 hours, I think, so. <laughs> My stomach looks burnt. So I just got out of the shower. I am editing, not editing, but I'm like doing like the final touches on my blog in day two. My computer was acting up last night, so I couldn't upload it last night, so I'm gonna upload it today. This whole week has been a mess when it's come to uploading. So if you're a YouTuber, I would highly recommend you getting like YouTube Studio. It's really cool. You have like all this stuff. You can edit your thumbnail there. Like, I don't know. I really like it. Speaking of the tan, so I washed it off. And yeah, it's a little blotchy, but like for how blotchy it was before, it definitely blends a lot better after you get out. It looks a lot better. Like you guys can see just in the arms right here. The hands are still white. So even though I just fed Pipsqueak, she's always hungry after she feeds off my breasts now because she's eating like five ounces now. I just put another like ounce and a half in the bottle to tie her over until we get home because she eats a lot. We are going to go to Walmart. Henry, I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to do because Walmart's packed and I'm insecure shit, so candy. She. She. Off to learn Reese's too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi there. Oh, how old is she? A month. Oh, mom. Yeah. Mine's just a oh, month too. Mine's really? Aww. Yeah. Can this be cute under it? Yeah, that or okay. a black one too. Or a black. Yep. Okay. He thought maybe the white would stick out better than black. I think. Yeah, I think it would. I have a black. Too. Okay. Is it just me or has it been every outing we've gone to? Like this last week, people have come up to us and asked us for our opinions. At Best Buy, that lady was asking for yeah. your opinion. At Target, that girl came up to you. Yeah. Isn't that funny as hell? Maybe just because I'm hot. No, we have no. a child now, so our opinion matters. So we just got done at Walmart. It was so crazy, you guys. Like, we live in a pretty small town. It's, yeah, it's definitely really small. And I don't think I've ever seen this many people in one place at one time for a small town like this. Basically what I'm trying to say is that there's more people in that Walmart than I thought the population of where I live is. Like it was so crazy. But right now Henry's inside getting us wine and then we're gonna see what the hype about White Claws is. bad they taste like those um like bubblies <laughs> definitely don't recommend at all she wasn't too content with laying with henry and henry didn't want to walk around so i took her to make my grilled cheese <laughs> she loves it she loves being held and walked around once she's done fussing, we're going to wrap the presents and put them in the stockings. So my first present is this. 
so excited about this. Do we have to wrap this one? Wrapping it. Gotta wrap these hot Cheetos. Some other really good stocking stuffer ideas for a girl since he did just a lot of candy. Um, bobby pins is always a really good one. Hair ties. Lotion, hand sanitizers, uh, gift cards, socks. Socks is a good one. But I don't care what any girl says, we always need socks. Perfume. So the first present that I'm wrapping for Henry is a charger for his PlayStation controller because the one he has is only three inches. So every time his charger dies, he has to sit with his face in the TV. Then I got him car fresheners. Then I got him, this is another car freshener, it's called Scent Bomb. It's stuff you spray in your car, and this stuff is honestly amazing. I really like this stuff, so. It turned out pretty well. Yeah. that. It should have. And that's a new stocking. <laughs> and my stocking goes in the trash. It's like 8 o'clock, little one just woke up, well, like an hour ago, and I'm gonna go make some coffee. As you guys remember what me saying last night, Henry's parents came, so they came and spent a little, ooh, too much coffee. So they came and spent a little bit of time with us last night, and they're coming back today, and they want to babysit little one. So Henry and I are going to go to Forks to uh, get him a haircut. And then I got out a package from Morphe yesterday. So I know I'm a little late to the trend, but I got the James Charles palette only because of the fact that it's such a good palette for like having a bunch of colors and I also got the mini palette because I really wanted something that was going to come with a mirror inside. I hate palettes that don't have mirrors in them. Okay, if you guys are curious, this shit is really, really, really mini. And then I got one for a Christmas present, I won't say for who. So his parents came to visit so I didn't really have any time to vlog or really do any of the rest of the stocking stuff. So I'm going to show you guys um, what I put in Bradley's stocking. But I got her this cute little outfit. Um, this is her stocking. I just got some burp breaks because she needs more. She goes through them like crazy. Um, I'm going to open this up and put a pack of wipes in there. I got her another bottle because she needs another one. And then, um, I think I already showed you guys all this stuff. Never mind then. That's basically all I have for this vlog. You guys already know what I'm about to say. Go ahead and subscribe if you liked this video. If you didn't like this video, there's plenty more to come. So subscribe anyway. I don't... 
Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video, which actually could be a bad thing considering my last two uploads have had issues and I've had to delete them and re-upload them. So you might be able to see all my mistakes if you turn on those post notifications and then see them fixed. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey for Vlogmas. It's definitely super stressful, but also so much fun. Like, I love the feedback I'm getting and I love seeing how much people actually enjoy my videos. I mean, it's a lot of people that I know, like Gracie, Aubrey, and someone else messaged me on Instagram about my videos not working. But it's super nice seeing all the positive feedback and seeing that you guys love my videos. So thank you, I appreciate that, and peace out.